realism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subject to the House agreeing item one on the order paper, I can confirm that the House will rise at the close of business today and return on Tuesday the 23rd of April. Stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the business for the week commencing the 22nd of April will be Monday the 22nd of April the House will not be sitting Tuesday the 23rd of April a motion to approve a statutory instrument relating to the draft Northern Ireland extension of period for executive formation regulations 2019 followed by a motion to approve a statutory instrument relating to the value added tax tour operators amendment EU exit regulations 2019 followed by a motion to approve a statutory instrument relating to the draft electronic communications amendment etc EU exit regulations 2019 followed by a motion to approve a statutory instrument relating to the draft animal health seed potatoes and food oh, amendment northern ireland eu exit regulations 2019 wednesday the 24th of april opposition day <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> there will be a debate on an opposition m motion subject to be announced. Thursday, the 25th of April, a debate on a motion relating to school funding, followed by a debate on a motion relating to restrictive intervention of children and young people. The subjects of these debates were determined by the Backbench Business Committee. Friday, the 26th of April, the House will not be sitting. Mr Speaker, following the decision taken yesterday to extend Article 50 to the 31st of October, I have now confirmed that, subject to the agreement of the House, the House will rise at the close of business today and return on Tuesday, the 23rd of April. Mr Speaker, more people than ever are watching what is going on in Parliament, and now we have some evidence of that. In March, the number of unique viewers on the Parliament Live website exceeded one million in a month for the first time. To put that into perspective, the average in 2019 was around 300,000 a month. So we might be facing a very challenging time in Parliament, but the silver lining is this huge increase in democratic participation. I'd like to congratulate the member for North East Hertfordshire on achieving royal assent of his private member's bill. Finn's law will help protect our much-loved service animals. And finally, Mr Speaker, I want to welcome the new member for Newport West. Her predecessor, who was much admired, was a keen business question attendee. So I look forward to her contributions in the Chamber. I do want to wish all members of this House, their staff and all House staff, a very relaxing break and a happy evening.